Today, we're diving into a significant development that's shaking up the industry. Apple's ongoing legal struggle, which has resulted in a ban on sales of its latest watches equipped with blood oxygen sensors in the United States. Just recently, the U.S. Court of Appeals upheld a ban initially imposed by the U.S. International Trade Commission. This decision comes after a lengthy intellectual property dispute with Mazamo, a renowned medical device company. The crux of the issue, Apple's blood oxygen sensors, a key feature in their latest models. The Apple Watch Series 9 and Ultra 2 were found to infringe on Mazimo's patents. This ruling has immediate consequences. Starting Thursday, Apple will be barred from importing and selling the affected smartwatches in the U.S. market. This decision sent ripples through the market, with Apple shares experiencing a slight downturn in Wednesday afternoon trading. But what does this mean for consumers and the tech giant itself? For starters, Apple took proactive steps in December by briefly removing the affected watches from its online and retail stores. However, other retailers with existing stock can continue selling these models. In a twist that could change the game, recent court filings revealed that Apple might have a workaround. The tech giant reportedly received approval from U.S. Customs for a modified version of its Apple watches, sans the contentious blood oxygen feature. This modification could pave the way for these devices to return to U.S. shelves, albeit in a different form. The conflict with Massimo is more than just a legal skirmish. It's rooted in a deeper narrative of alleged corporate espionage and technological imitation, with Massimo accusing Apple of poaching its top executives and copying its technology. The implications of this ban extend beyond just sales. If Apple is forced to keep its latest smartwatches off U.S. store shelves, it could complicate repair processes at Apple stores, which often involve swapping broken devices with replacements. As we await further developments, the tech community is abuzz with speculation. Massimo's CEO, Joe Chiani, has expressed openness to settling with Apple, suggesting a potential resolution outside the courtroom. Meanwhile, Apple's silence on the matter leaves room for speculation about its next move. What does this mean for the future of Apple and the smartwatch market at large? Stay tuned to Initiant for more updates on this developing story as we continue to provide insightful analysis on the latest tech news. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech news and insights.